So to begin this, I'm going to be using the Crafter's Choice foam brushes. They are they're made by Royal. Uh, I think I bought these from the range or the works. So basically I've teared a little bit off the corner and then we're going to begin by just popping a little bit on each panel. This is the first stage of the damage and after this we're going to do silver over this Breaks up the red a little bit better. Gives it more of a realistic effect. So guys, this is why I paint in this way. This model is ready for, for you know for play, for gameplay. I've had a little game, it did fairly well, used it as a transport vehicle, put some shooter boys in it with a knob with a, um, was it a, a big shooter of some sort, um, did well. And then now we can add more stuff to it and make things look better, take it to the next level. So we've already done this side, that's that. Now this part, this is where it's going to take most of the damage, isn't it really? So this is going to be a lot more battle damaged. Now I know this is quite dark anyway. It's pretty easy, like literally guys, I'm literally just dabbing it into the paint and then dabbing it on to the, to the surface. You know, I've got a bit on my fingers but it's fine. So guys, the black's all dried. We use the black from Game Colour. You can use one of the Games Workshop ones. Now we're using Plate Mail Metal which is the alternative to Games Workshop Citadel Iron Breaker. So it's pretty much the same paint. You can use either one, whichever one you fancy. Um, we're going to use the same little bit of same little bit of foam. Put a little bit on the palette and let you just put a bit on. So I don't want to put too much on. I'd rather put too little on than too much. So we're going to focus on the front at the moment. Let's have a look. Gonna... Don't want it uniform, we're just going to pop it anywhere. Um, you can see that. Try and keep it in, in the camera. In that angle. Maybe put a little bit more on the sponge. So we want more so on the doors, on the corners where people will be getting in and out of the vehicle. Edge is going to get dinged a bit more, aren't they? Than other places. The 
this is where the gun's going to be, the big shooters are going to be situated, so we want a bit more over here. If they're mounting and unmounting the weapons constantly, it's going to cause more damage, isn't it? on the pallet quite enjoying doing this guys I've, I've never done this before I've always just painted my uh, vehicle just a, a normal cleanish colour so but the whole purpose of this channel is to learn more things hopefully teach other people these new techniques that I've learned Hopefully then they can tell their friends, their friends can you know, start doing it. And we can get our armies to above tabletop standard. I think it's looking decent, decent at the moment. Let's have a little, little zoom in, focus on there. Yeah, like I said before, guys, if if you are wanting to, to do a professional finish um, for your golden demons and such things, you know, you're obviously watching the wrong channel. Um, you know, next level painting's a good one for that. To be honest, he's the man. I always watch him. The reason why I chose the uh, the plates method. Plate mail, mail metal, i.e. the iron breaker. It's a little bit lighter, isn't it? Stands out a little bit more than doing it like a like a lead belcher or yeah, the golden metal that armor painter produce. So I think this is looking a little bit better. Made improvements to the model, anyways, guys. Um, so that's pretty much it. How quick was that? So easy, so simple vehicles taken to the next level let's start putting it back together your vehicles you know being taken to the next level you just go through stages can't you it's a lot better isn't it guys so if this has helped you at all, let me know. Pop a comment in the comment section, give us a like, share with your friends, do all that jazz. And I will see you maybe next week or the week after for the weathering. I'm going to dare to up a little bit more. And hopefully by then I might have added a bit more colour to certain little things. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Tra.